So this is a great question. Um, I assume the question is about people who are congenitally blind or people who have been blind since birth because if you want to know how someone who's recently become blind represents color, all you really have to do is close your eyes and imagine a color. So we know this because brain imaging studies, so studies that measure the activity of your brain, have shown that the same brain regions that are active when you're seeing things are basically the same ones that are active when you just think about them. And we know this um, even applies to the visual cortex, the part of the brain that uh, responds to visual information. But how do blind people who've been blind since birth represent color? Well, that's a good question. So even congenitally blind people actually have a fair amount of knowledge about color. So they know things like for red, they know that strawberries are red, they know that blood is red, they know that rubies are red, they know red is associated with warmth and with embarrassment and with anger. Um, and many would even be able to tell you that red comes in between violet and orange in the color spectrum. So they have a fair amount of knowledge about color and they know this the same way that sighted people who, for example, have never seen the planet Mars, can tell you that Mars is the red planet. So they know it through language, through reading about it or through hearing about it. So there's actually quite a bit of knowledge about color that, that sighted people and blind people share. Um, and the only thing that blind people don't have, obviously, is the, just the purely visual information. So how do blind people represent this non-visual information? Well, this hasn't really been studied very much, but it's likely that it's represented in the temporal regions that represent language information in both sighted and blind people. But what about the parts of the brain that in sighted people represent the visual aspects of color, for example, the visual cortex? Well, it's not the case that in blind people, this part of the brain just atrophies and doesn't do anything. Instead, it responds to other things. It responds to things like sound, like touch, um, and even things like language. 